If you happen to be bringing some booze, boo, get it, booze, to your next Halloween party, we've got just the thing for you to kind of jazz it up and make it a little more festive and a little more special and personal. Uh, we've got a really cute witch wine bottle wrap, uh, and you'll see that here in front of me. I've kind of started to lay all the pieces out, and um, I think he's had a little bit too much to drink, and his face is getting a little crazy here. But um, it's mostly a paper piecing sort of project here. Uh, we've got our main black piece here, and what we're going to do is we're going to begin by constructing the face. Um, so we're gonna grab this piece here. This is the main part of the face. And let's grab the, grab the hair. And the way this works is these little hair pieces are gonna go on the side here. Okay, so I'm just gonna get started here. This one's pretty, pretty dang easy. I think the, uh, the crucial part for me to explain is just how to get it on the little wrapper. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. So you can see the little scallops here. I just wanna match that up with the side of its face. And this is kind of a, well, it's just, it's a cute little piece that will, if you're going to a party and you wanna bring something, this is a cute little, uh, cute little something that, to make, to give to the host or hostess. And I'm sure you will be indulging I think that uh, <laughs> I think Halloween is becoming more for adults than it is for kids, and I'm I'm okay with that. I'll embrace that. But either way, uh, you could also even put this on a beer bottle if you needed to, or um, a bottle of tequila, or a bottle of vodka, whatever it is that you're gonna put this on. Okay, so. Uh, aside from the two hair elements, there's a tiny little nose. It's like really tiny, I couldn't even ink it. So I'm just gonna pop just a tiny little drop of glue on that. You don't need that much. And you can see that there's a, um, there's a little marker to indicate where that's gonna go. So you wanna get that right there. That looks good. And then there's a little mouth, where'd it go? And we got, oh, there it is. There's his mouth. This is a little mouthpiece here, real tiny. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, we'll get that in place. You guys probably don't even need to watch a video for this, but I figured let me just make one because we want to be thorough here. Okay, that's a really tiny piece there, so be careful with that. And I've been, I've been doing some yard work today and my fingers kind of got beat up a little bit. So I hope you, hope you don't get grossed out by that. And actually they're not even that bad. I just got a manicure uh, a few days ago. So, all right, so then we're gonna take this and we're gonna glue this down to the main body here. And you can see that I did emboss the, um, the main body for our little goblin or witch. Uh, with a little star embossing folder, which I thought was really cute. And so we just want to, you can see the scallops here. You can see the scallops here. Just want to line that up on that side. And then also over here, just get that nice and lined up and just push that down. This piece is the little uh, center part of our little hat here. So let's get some glue on that. Okay. And you're gonna match that up with this little section here on that side, and then that side there. There we go. What is that? That's fine. Okay, and then there's a little buckle as well. And the bottom of it is cut off. And that's just to give the illusion that the brim is kind of hiding part of the buckle. So that's kind of cool. This is a kind of a tiny piece too, but that's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this buckle and you can see that there's a little circular shape there on the little center part of the hat. You just wanna match it up like that, okay? All right, so that's that. Now we can take a look at our little broom here. And we've got this longer piece here and we're gonna get that in place. 
Um, most of the pieces on this are kind of fitting like a, like a little puzzle, I guess you could say. Okay, so let's get our broom on here. I'm gonna go easy on the glue here. It's gonna get glued down to black paper. I don't want it squirting out too much. And that should be fine. And I'm gonna start up here at the top where there's a definitive shape for the broom and then just get that in place and then just nudge the rest of it into place as well. There we go. Just like that. All right, and then we've got the actual broom portion, which we cut in an AC dandelion color. And I ink that with a, a nice soft orange color. So let's get that in place. Just get that matched up. This is definitely a fun little project to do after working on some of the larger projects that I did a few days ago for our new All Hallows Eve bundle. That was fun, uh, but it was a lot of work. So it's kind of fun to work on something simple that only takes a few minutes, gives you that sense of accomplishment. All right, so this little piece here is gonna go right under the, the top part of the broom. That's kind of the portion that's holding it all together. Okay, now we've got a, uh, where's his other hand? There's his hand, his, hers. I can't really tell, and I think that was by design, according to Ron. Okay, so we're gonna pop that right on there. Okay, all right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, uh, put this little piece on for the the little collar just to kind of create separation there. So it's a thin little piece. I would probably just suggest doing little dots here or there. It's just really small. You don't want to go overboard with this. A little bit will go a long way and hold it in place for us. That's perfect. Okay, and that's gonna, this little part here is gonna match up just below the ear. Same with the other side there. And then just push the rest of it down into place. Okay, there we go. And uh, we can take a look at our little pumpkin here. He's holding a nice little goofy jack-o-lantern. So let's get our glue all over this piece here. Like that. And you can see there's this little area here that kind of sticks out. That and this, you can see it kind of creates the outline for the jack-o'-lantern. So we're gonna lay that over right there. Okay. And then we have another little piece for his hand. And that is gonna go like this. So let's get that glued down. I love these colors. The colors are so vibrant and rich. Okay, and that's gonna go like so. And then we've got Mr. Mr. Jack-o'-lantern here. Let me get that on there. You could definitely use even use this on the front of a card if you wanted to make a card out of this. So just I really love this little piece here. And then we've got the bottom of his little his little her his her little outfit. And that is going to go right here beneath the little rib on the pumpkin, and then it should terminate right up there, like so. Perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna do some googly eyes uh, on our little witch or goblin. <laughs> I still don't know what it is, but it's really cute. And we're kinda gonna make him, well, we're gonna make him kinda drunk, because he's, he looks kinda, he looks like he's lost his way, even though he's got a jack-o'-lantern to light his path. He looks like maybe he should probably not be drinking. Okay, and there we go. And then, let me make sure that's level, it is. And then we're gonna do the same thing for our little pumpkin here. 
I'm going to give him some googly eyes. Okay. I'm going to pop one right about here. Like that. Come on, googly eyes, stay. There we go. And one more. Obviously, he needs two eyes. Hopefully, you guys have a stash of googly eyes. If not, you can always draw it in or whatever. And there we go. Pop that in place. And then I've got um, I've got some buttons here for him. I, I'm going to just try to glue this down. I may need to get my hot glue gun out. And actually, that might show through. So I'm probably going to hot glue that. Um, yeah, I'm going to hot glue that. But in the meantime, uh, you can kind of finish this look off by adding a couple little buttons there. And that kind of makes his belly look a little bit bigger, which is cute too. So, so that's that. I'm going to take the buttons off for a second. Hopefully the googly eyes are dry. And um, the idea here is this is the little area that he is going to rest on, he or she. I'm going to zot this just so that I can reposition it if I need to. Uh, I'm going to just do, I'm going to do four zots and it'll kind of give this a little dimension too. It'll make him kind of pop out a little more. So we're going to put some zots on this. And then um, since we're not sure what kind of bottle you're going to be putting this on, um, you know, we want to give you the option to uh, adjust it based on the width. So you know, this is supposed to be right about, you know, let's put it about there. I think that's probably good right there. And he looks pretty good there. Okay, so, uh, and the final step here is I get my Dreaming Tree wine out. And this is not my wine. This is this is wine by my favorite artist who inspired the name of my company. Dreaming Tree is the name of one of his songs. It's a mighty fine wine, as Jeremiah the Bullfrog would say. Uh, so here's the long strip. What we're going to do is just train this, kind of make it a little circular. And then you can take this and just kind of wrap it around and try to, you know, try to get it tight, but not too tight so that it's not impossible to get it off. And then what I would do is I would put a little bit of glue right on the end here. Make sure you get that glue right out to the very edge so that you get a nice hold and a nice clean little seam there. And I just had way too much glue on my finger there. That's okay. All right, so let's close this up and put that over. Give it a little bit of slack. Not too much though. And just close that up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and just glue it to that strip. And that just makes life easier for everybody. So you're not, you don't have to guess. You just take it, wrap it around your, your bottle, and bam, you're good. Okay, so we got that on there, and then we can take our little, our little guy here, and then all you need to do is just glue the sides down. Okay, and you can see what that's gonna look like. It looks pretty sharp. So let me see if I can, I'm just gonna hold this up. But again, just don't forget to don't forget to glue, take some glue and put them on the insides of this little tab here and just glue it to the side of the existing band. And there is your booze ready for your party. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, enjoy the freebie. If you did, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. It lets me know that you guys enjoy hanging out with me and that I'm doing a good job and that we're all doing a good job here at Dreaming Tree. So please do that, we'd appreciate it. And if you do make this or any of our projects, please visit us in the official Facebook group for Dreaming Tree by heading over to Facebook and doing a search for Dreaming Tree Group. Join myself and 7,000 plus other members and um, we just all inspire and kind of feed off of each other's creativity. So I hope you join us there. And um, I'm glad you joined me today and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. 
get the latest news, and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.